Hi, I'm Leigh and welcome to my art channel. This is another sketchbook tour video, this time from the year 2002. I would have been around 15 or 16. I have three separate sketchbooks from this time frame, but I'm sure I've misplaced at least half of my sketchbooks over the years. So this is unfortunately another ugly video with the cardboard in the background. My next sketchbook tour will look much better, I've gotten better lighting since filming this one, but I do want to share because I think this is the one where you can see hints of my personal art style starting to poke out through all the anime. Not that you shouldn't draw in an anime style, I love artists who have an anime or manga-like style, but as I mentioned in my last sketchbook tour, I'm really not good at drawing that way, and I start to get away from that towards the end of these sketchbooks. Now, I know these sketchbooks are kind of old, but I really don't remember a lot of the stories behind many of these characters. Alice Slay the World is something that pops up a few times, but I don't know who she is or why she looks vaguely like my self-portrait art of myself, which I will admit I did a lot of around this time because I was into self-insertion fanfiction and stuff like that. Mermaids are something I've drawn a ton of. You can see my love for Art Nouveau, particularly the art of Alphonse Mucha, was already in full effect based on how I drew hair every so often. Oh, by the way, I used to draw furries a lot around this time. This is something you'll see way more of in next year's sketchbook since I went through a whole goth emo furry kick. Foreshadowing. This one is hilarious and embarrassing because, as a child, I drew nothing but horses, yet I can't draw a decent centaur. I went through a huge Bride and Predators phase where I watched the movie non-stop for months. This is fan art for Kieran, who is probably one of my longest running internet friends. This is probably one of my favorites from all of 2002 sketchbooks. She's just so cute! I've sped up this last half of this particular sketchbook, and hopefully it's not too dizzying for you since I was drawing upside down and on the opposite side of the paper. At least I was trying to fill the sketchbook and not just leave it like the last one, with pages upon pages. Of eyeballs. Because it is mostly unfinished sketches, there isn't much I have to say about them. Clearly none of it I felt deserved finishing, which is sad because I do like a few of these sketches. I was trying to be more dynamic, I think? Maybe that's what I should try for a draw this again. I could redraw something I like but never finished and actually finish it. Before we get to the next sketchbook, I should probably mention this current sketchbook is from April 2002. The next sketchbook is from November 02, and the last two are from early and late December 02, respectively. So yeah, I'm definitely missing sketchbooks, or friends have them, or they're in my mom's basement. Next sketchbook! This one filmed with a slightly better cardboard backdrop. Here we have Trip again with an oddity with some weird red fringe along its body. I don't think I thought this particular design out very well. Here's some gore which I drew since oddities are supposed to be quite ferocious. We've got Imogen, that Janet furry from the last sketchbook in human form, and we've got some ladies being cute together, but I have no idea who the characters are. Oh, 
This turquoise-haired girl is my Harry Potter fan character, Cecily Willows. Her robe is red because she doesn't actually go to Hogwarts. She goes to a wizarding school in Canada. It always made sense to me we would have one. I was super disappointed when JK revealed the other schools we didn't hear about in the books and Canada wasn't on there. I drew such bright clothes all the time. I'm such an 80s kid. The camera really didn't want to pick this one up. I assume the background is colored with Crayola marker, since it's super streaky and I know I didn't have any alcohol-based markers at the time. Here's Cecily another couple of times, and you can see her school colors were red and white. I've always loved turquoise with red, so I assume that's why she has the funky colored hair. Another sketchbook! This is the one that I believe would be from early to mid-December, though I really sucked at dating things. Something I've always dreamed of doing is drawing a web comic. And these next few pictures are of, I think, characters I intended on being in a web comic. I'm not sure of the name or the storyline now, though apparently there's two elves and a girl with purple hair, so I bet you anything there was a love triangle involved. Once again, the rest of this sketchbook is mostly unfinished stuff, so now is a good time for me to touch again on style. I do think all artists have their own style, even if they're drawing anime or fan art, but I really didn't go through all these sketchbooks trying to develop it. If anything, I didn't think about my personal style at all. I borrowed from other artists, I created fan art, and I drew whatever I wanted just because. My art style came out of it naturally through exploration and time. And I don't think it's something you develop and bang, you're done. That's it. That's your style that you'll have forever and ever. I still play with different ways of expressing everything from eyeballs to hair to fingertips. And so style for me is a constantly evolving thing. So much changes as you continue to draw and practice. Learning anatomy, trying new mediums, they can all affect your style. Of course, if you want to purposefully direct your style, you can. You can study artists of a certain genre, whether it's anime or art nouveau or surrealism. You can practice and practice taking bits and pieces of other artist styles until you develop an aesthetic you love and want to draw over and over again. And muscle memory becomes a part of it too. You'll find yourself instinctively drawing eyes a certain way, noses a certain way. Your influences and what you study affect your art, and if you focus on directing your style a certain direction, you can do it, and probably in less time than you think. I took a super long way to get to my style, I went down some really weird paths, but it's all about growing and evolving as an artist, even if I did go through that kind of embarrassing goth emo furry phase. Art style is just one aspect of your art. If you do choose to focus on creating your own style, that's up to you, but don't forget to have fun while doing it. And never feel bad for how you draw something, because I know a lot of people can be really hard on those who draw in a cartoony style, whether it's anime or inspired by comic books. Realism is not all there is. Making what you want is important, and being happy with what you create is important. That took me a long time to understand. Well, now that I've rambled through most of this particular sketchbook, please let me know down below if you're interested in hearing anything else on this topic or about anything else at all related to art. 
All my social medias are linked below in the description box, and I'll be back next week with another art video, so please subscribe if you didn't mind hearing me rant. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!